Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking Zippos. It's been a while since I talked about Zippos, so I'm excited for anyone who's excited to see some Zippo content. So I had a viewer send me this insert, which uh, they actually told me about it first. Like, hey, I got this cool Zippo insert. It's a butane insert. You know, I want you to try it out. I'm going to send you one. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I'm like, I tried a lot of them. I thought I tried all of them, but I haven't. This one's actually pretty cool. All right, it says Yusud Lighter. Y-U-S-U-D. I kept the box specifically so I could talk about it and show it here. Flame adjustable, windproof flame, butane refillable. It says switchable soft and jet flame and faithful outdoor equipment. <laughs> so a little Chinese product here. Um, but yeah, so I saved the box. That's what it looks like. Uh, probably an Amazon find. Don't know for sure. I put it in my WR Case and Sons Zippo. All right, so here's how it works. All right, once you open it, the fluid's coming out. It does have a wheel. There we go. <laughs> Took a few shots. All right, so you see we have the uh, jet flame, the windproof flame. And when you let go, we have our soft flame. There's a better shot of that front. Right, it's very reflective and shiny and dirty because I've been carrying it and using it. But anyway, um, you could just spark it once just to get that going. But you have the option to hold it down for the jet flame. So it's definitely cool. It really is cool, the best of both worlds. Let's say I got the Zippo case in 2002. Um, but yeah, I love the insert. Now here's the deal. I tried it on a couple different, here's a US Army one I tried on, which fits too. The very first Zippo that I wanted to EDC in, it does not fit. I do not know why. So here's my Color Lover, which a viewer got me, which is awesome, one of my favorite ones. This is from 2018, all right. And it has a regular insert, which is empty right now. But for some reason, when I put this insert in it, it doesn't close. I don't know why. So, it's super annoying. So I want to point this out, though, in case you do get the insert. It's not guaranteed to just work with all of them. And I really try to figure this out and push it down. I'm like, there's something in the case. No, there's nothing in the case. Push it down. Why? Why doesn't that close? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. You know, a regular insert closes fine, like it always has. So that's kind of a bummer, but I have been carrying, I'm losing few, uh, fluid this whole time, by the way, because it is open. All right. So if you want to keep it open, just flip the tab up. That shuts off the fuel. All right. This way it's off when it's closed and automatically comes on and releases fuel, you know, when you're not using it. But I dig it. I think it's really awesome. The only drawback besides randomly not fitting this case is it was hard to fill. When I first got it, I filled it up. The first uh, fill was fine. It worked great. And for some reason, once it ran out and I, I kept using, because I've been carrying this in this pouch. I've been EDC it every day at work, even though I only use it twice at work. Um, there's a, a, a smoking section, you know, outside where I work. And twice I, you know, someone didn't have a lighter. So I, you know, of course I have a lighter on me. So that was cool to actually real life, you know, use it. But other than that, it's just waste time because I'm just carrying every day. I carry a multi-tool for work every day on the belt, and then this was on the other side of my belt, my left side. So, you know, it's an insert. I mean, nothing to really test there. I just happen to carry it to have it. Um, but, yeah, just for some reason, once I, I actually ran out of fluid and tried to refill it, it was just being a huge pain. It would not take the fuel. I purged it three times. Eventually, it got to work. But by purging it, I mean, on the bottom, there's a little hole where you fill it. Just take something that's small enough and push in to release all the gases that are there. Sometimes you get a little air pocket that's in there, whatever the reason. If you have a hard time filling butane lighters, they just won't fill. Sometimes that's an easy solution. So that happened to work with this one. I'm not sure long term how it's going to work. I've had this for, I don't know, two, three weeks, something like that. But it's just cool. It's a cool option to have that hard flame, right, or jet flame, but also have the traditional soft flame. And obviously the biggest part is it doesn't lose fuel like a regular Zippo. That's why people like these butane inserts. Yeah, I mean, I dig it. It's cool. I like the, the option there. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.